Hey guys, um, I hope where I'm sitting isn't distracting you with all this back room, background clutter and that, but my husband's sleeping in the front room tonight, um, so I can't do my filming out there like I usually do. I am going to talk about the book Scars by Cheryl Rainfield. I just uh, finished this. Talk about a deep book. Wow. Um, I'll go ahead and read you the inside here. Kendra hasn't felt safe since devastating memories of childhood sexual abuse began surfacing, especially because she still can't remember the most important detail, her abuser's identity. Kendra knows someone is always watching, following her, and leaving menacing messages, and making her fear for her life. Kendra cuts to relieve the pressure. It's how she, it's how she copes, along with her brilliant, expressive artwork. Her mother is too self-absorbed to listen, so Kendra finds support elsewhere, from her therapist and her art teacher. From Sandy, a family friend who encourages encourages us, encourages her painting, and from Megan, a friend, and maybe more. Will they ever learn the truth about Kendra's terrible secret? Scars is a story of one girl's frightening path to the truth. This book is only 233 pages, 232 pages, something like that, but it packs a lot. Um, as you heard, it's about Kendra, who was sexually abused when she was younger. She's 15 now, and memories just recently started coming back to her um, and she started seeing a therapist. Her therapist is amazing. Her therapist gets her and she's very comfortable with her therapist and she starts to open up. But of course when you start opening up that's when the memories start really slamming you. And she takes to cutting to help relieve some of that emotional pain. And a big part of that book is about her cutting. Um, it all centers around her abuse, though, but she's not, like I said, like the book says, she can't remember who her abuser is. It's, it's blocked out. Um, and so she's still seeing the therapist. The cutting's just getting worse, and her parents are just horrible. I am sorry, but I do not like her parents. They treat this abuse that she's, that she's had, that she went through, like, like she should be getting over it, you know, like, like she shouldn't be feeling the way she's feeling or acting the way she's acting you know it's like they don't take it serious at all and it just oh my god I do not like them at all I was so upset when I first read uh when her her parents were first introduced into the story and the way they treated Kendra I don't like them I don't remember the last time I felt that strongly about a character but no her father was actually a lot more understanding to Kendra than her mother was and um so, of course, Kendra can't go to her parents. Um, there's a family friend that she turns to, and she actually makes a new friend at school, Megan, um, who actually has been a lot of help with her uh, trying to deal with all this. Um, during all this, too, she feels that she's being followed, and things start to show up in her backpack. So uh, basically warning her off that she better not say anything. So she knows that whoever abused her is very close by and that he's been following her. So of course that brings her, her being scared and all that up to a whole new level and that increases her cutting. Um, her therapist doesn't know she cuts. Her parents don't know she cuts. Um, the only person she opens up to is Megan. And um, everything comes to a head, of course, more towards the end of the story. And that's where her therapist finds out about her cutting. Um, the identity of the, her abuser comes out, and it just, it, it's just a big climax at the end. And um, I was hoping that her abuser wasn't who I thought it might be. Um, I literally had to put my book down when that was revealed. And I <laughs> went and told my husband, I'm like, oh my God, because the stuff really happens, you know? And it's just like, oh. And it took me a while to go back and read the next chapter in that because I just, it, it was just, it was such a powerful punch, you know. And Kendra was such a strong girl, a strong girl. And I I felt a connection to her. I don't know if I want to say connection because I never went through, well, I don't want to get too much into my personal life, but um, I was never sexually abused by a family member or somebody that was really close to me or anything like that. Um, but I could still relate to her because unfortunately I was. Um, and she was so strong. She was stronger than I ever was. Um, she was, 
she was just a pretty strong girl. At least I thought. I mean, yeah, she was weak in the sense that she cut herself. Um, but I don't know. She just, she seemed strong to me. She, she just did. She didn't give up. She knew she wanted to live. She was seeing a therapist. She was talking it out. Um, she was leaning on people. You know, that, that's hard to do. That really is hard to do, to lean on people. Um, and as for the cutting, I have personal experience with that. My sister used to cut. And we didn't know about it. And she revealed it to me one day. And this was years ago. This was before I even had my son. So this was more than, well, no, this was probably about 15 years ago. And um, I didn't know anything about it. There really wasn't a whole lot back then that I heard about it. And um, I just knew, obviously, it wasn't smart, something smart to be doing. And um, I wanted to try to be there for her, but she was having so many issues, and it was just, it was really hard. It was a real difficult period for all of us at that time. And, uh, yeah, I could never understand why she cut. Um, now that, you know, more information's out about it and that, and, and you kind of understand more things about it. But, yeah, it's not a, it's not a good thing. And um, it, it's all because of emotional issues. You know, you just, you try to, to take away the pain that's inside you. And, yeah. So, I mean, this is definitely a deep book. Um, yeah, if you, if you like those type of books, I definitely recommend Scars by Cheryl Rainfield. Definitely. Uh, one of the things on the back here says, Scars is a painful and well-told story, obviously written with the heart's blood of the author. It could prove to be a lifesaver for other young victims of abuse and self-harm. That was that was by Lois Duncan. Um, and also, too, yeah, Cheryl Rainfield, the author, she actually went through that. She went through sexual abuse and cutting herself, and she does say that in, in the back of the book there. Um, and <coughs> I actually just uh, sent a, a, a Twittered her, tweeted her, or whatever the heck you guys <laughs> say it, um, a couple of days ago, actually, while I was reading the book, and I asked her if she was ever thinking about doing a memoir and she said a lot of people have asked her but she doesn't think so she likes writing novels and stuff and but yeah um yeah she's been through this so you could tell that you know it's very well written and the emotions are I mean it, it's a, definitely an emotional book I don't like to give too much away when I'm telling you my thoughts on books because I don't want to basically have nothing left for you to read or to experience when you read so that's why mine are a little bit more vague and the only reason I'm bringing that up is because I know some people when they they do reviews and stuff they basically give a summary of the book and almost almost go over like the whole thing and, and I just don't like I said I want something there still for you guys so um, but that's about it I think I'm reading Invincible Summer um, next and yeah, all right, I will see you guys later.